Now let's look at how the debug, sorry, the breakpoint works. Uh, breakpoint is very simple. Like how do you add a breakpoint is very simple. Let's say I want to add a breakpoint in this particular line. So I want to add a breakpoint uh, in here, let's say in line number 22. So all that I need to do is do a Alt R, that's click the run menu, uh, sorry, click the debug menu and say toggle breakpoint. So that's the shortcut is Control F8. You can use Control F8 or you can say debug and toggle breakpoint. So that takes you to the uh, uh, breakpoint. What the breakpoint helps you to do is when you run the program, the execution stops at this particular line and then you can start doing a step over. So now if I do a run right now of this program, Alt R and run or Control F9, you can see that the execution stops at this particular point. And now I can add watch windows or I can do a step over and let's say J is this. I can now add, do a step over which is uh, F7 or you can actually do a Alt R and trace into or step over F7, F8. Um, you can do a F7. It actually executes the previous line of code. Now the control shifts to the next line of code J is equal to zero and then it prints out the output so you can see that in the output too. So a breakpoint helps you to stop the execution at a particular point. So and from there on you can use the debug. So now let's learn uh, about the difference between if you do go to the run there are two things tra trace into and step over. Let's see what's the difference between trace into and step over is. So if I do a F7 and continue that's trace into that basically if it's a library function it will anyway uh, go over it so it keeps the going to the code of clear screen and just goes over the code so it just doesn't go into the code of clear screen but executes whatever is present in here and gives me the output so the output is cleared um, however uh, if I do F7 here that's a step into here what it does is actually this print two-dimensional array is a user-defined function that's basically something which is defined by me so what it does when I do a F7 or a trace into is actually it goes into the code of the function so now it goes to the function and starts executing the code of that particular function if you look at it right now it's executing the code of this particular function and comes out that's simple but uh, the difference comes when I use a step over that's F8 so if I do a F8 let's see what's the difference is so I'm executing F8, that's trace, uh, that step over, and now I execute F8 again. It actually executes the entire function and shows the output. It doesn't really go into the function. So if you're interested in looking at what the function does, if you think the bug is in a particular function, you go into that particular function. Otherwise, you can actually uh, do use the F8 and uh, skip that function and move over to the next function in your code. Okay, so there you go. So we have learned what is the difference between step into and step over. Uh, and also we have learned what is, what is a watch window, what is the output window, and uh, how to align the windows in a particular order. Okay, thanks for watching.